Don't just be another foreigner, be a local Lao Wai. Welcome back to Local Lao Wai, the show that gives you everything you need to know for a smooth transition to life in China. I'm Donnie Newman. Hey, Teddy. Hey. First day? Yeah, you bet. Well, this is it. After all that time sending resumes, searching for jobs, getting interviews, you're finally here for your first day. No doubt you have plenty of questions about what lies ahead. Would you like your coworkers? What will your boss be like? Did you brush your teeth this morning? Relax, Teddy, you're gonna do great. Especially with all the local Lao tips we're about to bestow upon you. So keep watching and follow me. Well, here they are, the Chinese white collar worker in the yes. natural habitat. Beautiful, aren't they? As exotic as they may seem, it's important that they become your new friends. After all, you don't want to end up being that shy foreigner in the corner nobody talks to. Your coworkers are your most valuable resource as you adapt to life in the office, and therefore, understanding them is extremely important. So let's take a close look at this fascinating species to get an inside view on how they think, work, and have fun. The average Chinese white collar worker is young, college educated, hard working, and team oriented. You know, I wouldn't worry too much about a total language barrier. Your Chinese coworkers will have had plenty of years studying English under their belt. Although, that's not to say their English will be perfect. A little patience will be necessary. You make reports in my desk, 5 o'clock, now, okay? Uh, okay. The line between work and personal life is a little bit blurry in China. And you'll frequently see your coworkers staying well after their scheduled time to go home. Hey, what time do you get off? 12 o'clock. It's 7.30. Okay. Chinese try their best to maintain good, personal relationships with coworkers, and they love doing things together. They usually arrive to work around the same time, go get lunch around the same time, and even leave around the same time. What? They use the bathroom together too? Personal relationships matter a great deal to your Chinese colleagues because problems can arise very quickly in the Chinese office. And when they do arise, it's best to have the whole team kick in to solve them. Teddy, uh, I need you to finish this right now, please. Oh, I have so much to do today. Uh, oh. I'll translate. I will do the spreadsheet. I'll prove it. I will give you a You don't need me to tell you that safety net is quite desirable. So when you first meet your new colleagues, how do you make a good first impression? Here's what you need to know. Young Chinese are very open-minded, and they'll be happy to welcome you into their circle of friends at work. That said, first contact with Chinese tends to be very polite and formal as to show respect to the other person. So don't worry if a relationship takes time to warm up. And that's what I think about Chinese, Korean, and Japanese politics. When you do get a chance for some light conversation, avoid topics considered taboo in China, like politics and history. Uh, how about them Yankees, huh? Once you establish those good first impressions, keep going. Here are some classic opportunities through which you can build on those good work relationships. Take advantage of chances to socialize. For example, coworkers love going to lunch together, and you should join them. Hey, you want to go over to lunch together? Chinese also love to organize activities to do together outside of work. These events can pop up rather unexpectedly, but that doesn't mean you're not expected to go. Oh, Teddy, it is the boss' daughter birthday tonight. We have to go, okay? 
when a team member goes out of town, they're sure to bring back some goodies from the trip to pass out to everyone. Make sure you do the same. <laughs> It'll last me the whole month. <laughs> so there you have it, the Chinese white collar worker in a nutshell. You know what? They're not so exotic after all. I mean, once you get to know them. Absolutely, cultural differences does not have to mean cultural rift. I have a feeling there are plenty of new friends waiting for you here in China. I'm Donnie Newman. This is Ted Ribbons. We'll see you next time on Local Lao Wai. Tune in next time when we'll show you how to impress in the meeting room. In the meantime, be sure to keep sending in your questions at local lao at bon.tv. I'm Donnie Newman, and we'll see you next time.